So within the superintendent's report, I did make a reference to the district calendar, a copy of which was provided to school committee members. I would point out to you that the recommended calendar, and again, union has reviewed, labor has reviewed and agreed, because it is, requires consent from labor based on the current contract. That August 27th, teachers will return and students will return August 31st. You note in the calendar there are half days for parent conferences. In addition to that, the reason that you see throughout the calendar when you see 45 days, 90 days, is because we also try to create space for teachers to do grading. You see half days timing. Um, at the end of the report, we have uh, made our curriculum day in April coincide with town elections. Um, that's uh, something that I believe is helpful to the town. And we have a, another a curriculum day at the very end of the school year for teachers. I have a question on the calendar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, last year, I think we had added, had Should we close the, the door? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. had the curriculum Do you mind? day I think, okay. in October. Uh, be the Friday before Columbus Day, mm -hmm. and in this this draft, it's the the week prior. So you have a short week, a full week, and then another short week. I just didn't know if there was any discussion about um, the October second, no school curriculum day, potentially being moved to October 9th. Uh, last year, we had this four day weekend that people seemed to respond well to just to lengthen that weekend. I don't know if that would be a consideration or not. Well, labor, now Mr. Burns taking on the voice of labor right now, just <laughs> gave a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, the reason that we, this is a highly scientific process, the reason that we had that there, but it's not, it doesn't matter if it's to the ninth, it was just saying, okay, at what point will teachers have formative assessment data that they want to look at? But yeah. certainly that makes perfect sense and we've received a thumbs up from a Grinspoon winner. What more do you need? <laughs> <laughs> and a long weekend <laughs> to boot. So I, I don't foresee it labor having well a problem last year, with that. At least it was a change in practice last year. I think that okay. was the first time. All right. So we, I don't foresee labor having a problem with that. Would you like to be the voice of labor? No. Sure. I don't think anyone has a problem okay. with a long weekend. Okay. All right. And I, I feel like this is one of the first years in a long time that we're starting on a Monday and have hmm. a full week. Mm -hmm. Is that um, that is unusual, right? Everyone's nodding. Yeah. And any concerns about that? You love it? The kindergarten teachers will not appreciate it. It's a long first week for little Mr. Kids. Burns is not the voice of kindergarten teachers. No, he's this not. Evening, but, uh, so there was discussion about that. There was discussion about how sometimes the calendar is conducive to kind of staggering students. Yep. And yep. one thing we kept looking at was really trying to not have us <coughs> wait out in June. I mean, that was kind of mm -hmm. the push. And also, I was the one who brought up, because I, I've heard this from parents when I've gone to PTO and at different times throughout the year, how frustrating sometimes um, November can be, January can be, where I might hear, my gosh, we just came back from vacation, then we have this holiday, then you had a half day. So th that can be sometimes very frustrating for parents around childcare. So I also thought, um, one, trying to get us out at a reasonable time, and that while well, staggering in is, is there are benefits to that and it feels comfortable, it also creates some problems for childcare for some families. Liberty also falls a little bit later than the budget. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's a factor in the role. We oh, could ask to just move please. Labor Day if you think that Should that we try that? <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> that would be more consistent. Okay. Yeah. It would be so much easier for we us. Will. Yeah. <laughs> Do we, can we adopt this a say, with the change of the notes? Yes. And yes. that's okay? Yes. And that goes back to the teachers. No, no, they voted on it, and and they've they're okay with the it. Grinspoon and the Grinspoon winner. The Grinspoon winner. I I can't foresee if we were if we were talking about changing the start date for the teachers in August. I'd say we need to go back to labor, but I don't think giving them a long weekend is going to frustrate them. Okay, and I would motion to approve the fifteen uh, sixteen uh, Hadley Public Schools calendar. Uh, second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much.
Are we skipping over the super eval superintendent evaluation? Yes, no. because okay. what you have in your packet, I did add the additional summative sheet that you asked mm -hmm. for, but the reason that tonight you would be voting to adopt it, but we're going right, to wait right, until right. you okay. Since I will here. not be at the April meeting, um, when this is discussed, I will indicate now that I do approve the, or I agree with the, the tool that is being used. I support it. Early voting. Maybe I am back. I think I'm back. Okay. It's the Monday after the uh, April vacation week. I'm back. So, okay. okay. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so are we finally on to Chris? Yes. It's been a long week.